everybody i thought i'd make this quick video for uh using excel to calculate the standard deviation not using uh there is a formula in excel that will just calculate it uh and we will use that later in the semester in the meantime i'm just using excel uh to help make my table so as you know we have two different versions of the formula so i am set up for both here uh this is just some data that i made up so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is use the first version of the formula. So uh, in order to use that one, I need to calculate the mean x bar. So I am going to go down here and I'm going to ask Excel to add up all of these numbers for me. And I'll do that using equals sum. And then I will select all of these values. Close the parenthesis. It tells me that those values add up to 559. And then I will ask it, what is that number divided by 10? Because there are 10 values up there. So that's my sample mean. That is X bar, 55.9. So now I'm going to go up here and make my X minus X bar column. And to do that, I'm going to go equals. I'm going to select this column, I mean this cell, and then I'm going to say minus, and I'm just going to type in 55.9, all right? Uh, because what I'm getting ready to do is, is copy and paste this formula down for the rest of the values. So I need to type in 55.9 and not reference the cell that that number is in. Otherwise, the copy and paste won't work correctly. All right, so there's my first X minus X bar. I will copy this and paste it, just doing Control C, Control V. And now I will go over here. This is gonna be my X minus X bar squared. And I will type equals. I will select this cell and I will put caret two. There is another way to do uh, exponents in Excel. This is just the one that I've chosen. Okay, so that's the square of that number. And again, if I copy and paste that all the way down here, it will do it with each of these numbers. Okay. All right, so the first version of the formula for variance, I'll do the variance first, uh, tells me to add up all of these values and then divide by n minus one. So I'm gonna type equals sum I'm going to select all of these values. Okay, so those values add up to 10,934.9. Uh, and now I will ask it to divide that number by 9, which is one less than the sample size. This is my variance. And then to get the standard deviation, I will do equals SQRT for square root. Select that cell. And the standard deviation of this sample is, uh, I would normally round this to one decimal place, so I would say 34.9. Okay. Now I'll do the same thing using the other formula. I prefer the other formula, actually. Um, tends to be a little simpler. So for that one, you just square each of the X values. So I'll do equals, select that, caret two, and copy these all the way down here. Okay, so now I need the sum of both of these columns. So I'm gonna say equals sum, select all of these, All right, and we actually already knew they added up to 559. And then over here, since I'm doing the same thing, adding up those 10 values uh, in the same place, I can just copy and paste this, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna switch over to my whiteboard so that you can actually see my work. Um, I don't have my tablet with me today, so I had to do this with my mouse, so it's a little, little sloppy. All right, here's the formula for uh, variance. So it's n times the sum of the x squareds minus the square 
of the sum of the x's, that whole thing divided by n times n minus 1. So let me just point out the sum of the x squareds is the second sum that we calculated on the spreadsheet. The sum of the x's is the first one. Okay, so sometimes students get confused between what's the difference or what's the difference between this and this. So that's what it is. So you drop those numbers in the right places. You end up with 10 times 42,183 minus 559 squared. And I'm going to divide that whole thing by 10 times 9. So now I'm just crunching the numbers. And eventually I end up with 1,214.9888, which I will just show you really, really quickly, is the same thing we got when we used the first formula. And then, of course, to get the standard deviation, take the square root of that number, and I have rounded the answer to one decimal place. All right. Hope this was helpful. See you next time.